Massive spoiler warnings for Metal Gear Solid 2 all the way through this video and if you've clicked it and you haven't played the game yet what on earth are you doing? But in the final cutscene Snake attempts to perk up a dejected Raiden by telling him you can find your own name and your own future. The cutscene ends the game on a hopeful note which does feel necessary following some of the other dark ideas implied by the finale. With that being said Hideo Kojima has since somewhat contradicted the idea of finding one's own future given how many of the predictions he made in MGS2 have have since come true. Because I'm sorry for WhatCulture.com and here are seven ways Metal Gear Solid 2 predicted our exact future. Number seven, social media culture shaping public opinion. While the exact wording may differ, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty touched upon the notion of internet forums facilitating the adoption of herd mentality. In a significant codec call towards the game's conclusion, the Patriot AI versions of Rose and Colonel Campbell chastise Raiden for blindly following their instructions. They reveal their motivations for for keeping him in the dark, justifying their actions as necessary for the greater good. Within the speech, the AI addresses the tendency of humans to waste their freedom of speech by engaging in empty rhetoric to avoid conflict. They discuss how unverified truths manipulated by those with vested interests challenge the concept of political correctness. This results in individuals embracing whichever false narrative aligns with their own beliefs and retreating into isolated online communities. Remarkably, Kojima's concise portrayal foreshadowed concepts such as QA on and Twitter controversy before the real-world emergence of such. The game's accurate summary of these real-world elements is somewhat mind-boggling in retrospect. Metal Gear Solid 2's narrative serves as a thought-provoking reflection on the power of online discourse and the implications of blindly accepting information without critical analysis. Number 6. Digital Footprints Have you ever experienced that peculiar moment when you search for, I don't know, a new PlayStation controller on your laptop only to be bombarded with advertisements for PlayStation controllers when you later browse on your phone? Phone. This phenomenon arises from advertisers monitoring your digital footprint through cookies and other information shared when you browse websites. Now consider the words spoken by the Patriot AI to Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2. They offer to relieve him of the burden of thinking by assuming that role themselves, proclaiming to be his guardians. This concept strikingly mirrors the convenience provided by modern devices like Alexa or Google Home, which meticulously track everything from your music preferences to your shopping habits. And I'm sorry if I just set off your... Uh, that thing. Kojima's foresight is evident in his ability to anticipate the growing influence of digitized communication and the subsequent implications for privacy. In that sense, Metal Gear Solid 2 serves as a reflection on the potential consequences of relinquishing control and entrusting machines with our decision-making processes. Though Kojima couldn't have predicted the specific devices and advancements that would materialize, his insights into the encroachment of technology on personal autonomy remain strikingly relevant. Number 5. The Era of Fake News in today's digital age, print media has taken a back seat and digital platforms have emerged as the dominant source of information. Instead of relying on traditional newspapers, many people now turn to social media feeds to stay updated. This shift has opened doors for smaller news outlets to flourish and gain traction. At first glance, this change appears to be a positive development as it decentralizes the power to control public discourse from set corporations and allows for more diverse perspectives to be heard. However, there is a downside to this newfound freedom, a lack of curation. The prevalence of unverified information presented as facts has consistently become a more prevalent issue in recent years. Fascinatingly, Metal Gear Solid 2 delved into the concept of fake news facilitated by the internet long before a certain former president began barking the phrase at his political rallies. Over two decades ago, Sons of Liberty foresaw the overwhelming influx of trivial information constantly generated on the internet. With digital storage's ability to preserve data indefinitely, this abundance of unverified and inaccurate accurate content persists, forever etched into the annals of cyberspace. Kojima's visionary storytelling in Metal Gear Solid 2 captures the potential dangers of an uncurated digital landscape, where the lines between truth and fiction become increasingly blurred. The game's exploration of these themes have proven eerily prescient, reflecting the contemporary challenges faced in navigating the vast, endless realm of online information. Number 4. Virtual Reality Blending into Real Life the idea of Raiden's training being done in virtual reality is much more realistic nowadays following the release of products like PSVR and Oculus. However, back in 2001, this notion seemed like nothing more than science fiction. Now, you might scoff at video game VR being mentioned here, but in the present day, a program known as DVS2 is already being implemented across various military sites in the UK. DVS2 offers a wide variety of training scenarios that closely replicate real-life situations. From piloting jets and parachuting into 
war zones to engaging in combat on aircraft carriers, operating weapons, handling equipment and vehicles, providing tactical support, and even receiving first aid training, these VR scenarios provide a comprehensive training experience. Some of those serving in the military today undergo training that closely resembles the virtual training described in Sons of Liberty. When the game was released in 2001, soldiers preparing for deployment to war zones did not have the luxury of training within a VR environment. The evolution of technology has made it possible to enhance training methods, providing military personnel with more immersive and realistic simulations to better prepare them for challenges they may encounter in the field. Number 3. Government Surveillance Programs The US government responded to the 9-11 attacks by enacting the Patriot Act, a significant piece of anti-terrorist legislation. Surprisingly, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty seemed to anticipate this development as the game's release preceded the introduction of the act by the then US President George W. Bush. The game explored the theme of governments monitoring their citizens, scrutinising their expenses, travel patterns and companions. Astonishingly, these concepts mirror the real-life measures implemented in the US a mere 21 days after Metal Gear Solid 2's release. In the years following, the game's prophetic ideas only gained further relevance. With the proliferation of IP addresses and the activation of GPS tracking on mobile devices, coupled with allegations of big tech companies selling user data to third parties, the notions explored in Metal Gear Solid 2 are gradually aligning with reality. The game's portrayal of a world where individuals are closely observed and their personal information exploited resonates with contemporary concerns about privacy and data security. As technology continues to advance and surveillance becomes more sophisticated, Metal Gear Solid 2's commentary on these issues becomes increasingly accurate. The game's ability to anticipate these developments serves as a testament to its thought-provoking narrative and its exploration of the potential consequences of an increasingly monitored society. While the game's predictions should be viewed within the context of its fictional universe, as well as the history of the US surveillance dating back to the formation of J. Edgar Hoover's FBI, the parallels it draws to real-world events and concerns offer a glimpse into the impact of surveillance and the erosion of privacy in the modern era. Number 2. Technological Advancements Within the Military While we may not have genetically modified super soldiers in reality, the tactics and technologies depicted in MGS2 bear striking resemblance to the modern warfare of today. The game delves into the concept of drones and automated warfare, portraying the UA drones as lethal security measures and tools for surveillance. Although the drones in the game differ slightly from those that exist today, it is intriguing to note the parallels between the game and the current state of drone technology. In Metal Gear Solid 2, UA drones serve as recurring obstacles, defending military compounds and posing challenges for players attempting to infiltrate undetected. This mirrors the real-life concerns surrounding the use of drones for surveillance and the infringement of privacy which have become increasingly prevalent. The Metal Gear units, which are the iconic bipedal tanks in the series, embody the idea of automated warfare. The unmanned Metal Gear Ray models exemplify by ruthless efficiency through AI control. This fictional portrayal aligns with the development of actual unmanned weapon platforms known as Lethal Autonomous Weapons LAW, which operate independently, searching for and engaging targets based on pre-programmed parameters. Metal Gear Solid 2 was able to anticipate and explore the possibilities of these technologies, offering a thought-provoking glimpse into the potential future of warfare and the ethical questions that it raises. And number one, the rise of AI. Artificial intelligence is a huge deal in Sons of Liberty. In fact, the Patriot AI ends up being the game's true antagonist. The AI flexes the fact that it managed to get Raiden to do exactly as it told him in a scathing codec call towards the game's conclusion. It's even able to manipulate public information and the global economy at will. In the real world, AI is currently reshaping various industries including healthcare, finance, customer service, education, advertising and journalism. Experts predict that within a decade, AI could be used for diagnosing patients and prescribing medication for those without access to to doctors. In the future, AI may even become the primary source of education, leveraging its vast knowledge bank and continuous updates to eliminate the need for human teachers and physical schools. Wall Street has recently introduced Bloomberg GPT, a powerful language model expected to revolutionise the financial world. To combat unethical practices, some leading media outlets have created their own software to detect articles produced by AI, preventing writers from exploiting AI software for personal gain. Similar to plagiarism checkers, this and anti-AI software can determine whether an article submitted by a freelancer was authored by a human or an AI. These developments highlight the transformative potential of AI across various sectors, offering both benefits and challenges as society adapts to this technological shift. The craziest thing about all of it is that it was foreseen in a game about ninjas over 20 years ago. Now they're all appropriately freaked out and terrified by MGS2's predictions of the current state of the world, why not check out this video on screen here for 10 PS2 games that still blow our minds. Don't forget to leave a comment down below
below on other things that MGS2 predicted and how far you think it might go. Like this video, subscribe, head over to whatculture.com for more content every day. I've been Cypher What Culture and la lay lu lay low.